Hey, <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to talk about mezcal and what I like, and I'm going to help you choose some to have. <laughs> so you should watch me choosing and telling you about it because it's so good. Did I mention I've given up tequila? I used to be a tequila person, and now I don't drink it at all. I drink mezcal because I find tequila boring. Tequila is good. Mezcal is better. I don't want to start any problems. <laughs>
I'll cut this out. A few moments later. Oh my God. El Mero Mero. The best of the best. The one and only, I believe it is called. Winner for a great design on the front here. This is another one of my favorites. It's really solid. When I've gone wine tasting, the second somebody describes something is, oh, it has a peppery finish. Suddenly I taste a peppery finish. So I'm pretty simple-minded about the whole thing. Yeah, it's 30, 35. No, I'm sorry, 55. Yeah, it's good. It's solid. Um, looks good on <laughs> in your house, but 55, it's pushing it, pushing it. Dos perros. Two dogs. Bought this for a friend that has dogs. Thought it would be cute. This one is fine. It's 35 bucks. It's a little on the sweet side. So if you're into that, that may work for you. Um, I think it's okay. Bottle's cool. Has a little wax top to it. Yeah, it's more sweet than I would like personally. Um, I mean, to each his own. And that being said, I tend to like the weird ones, but I don't like the crazy gasoline taste that some I've had have. So hopefully I can steer you straight on those. Yeah, too sweet. <sighs> Casa Amigos, I'm sure you've had the uh, tequila. Tequila is good, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, uh, George Clooney had it and then Diageo company bought it for 1 billion with a B dollars, I think just to gain publicity. So they decided to make uh, a mezcal. I don't know what this is, but it's not mezcal. It is an abomination. I am, it is $60. I'm angry just talking about it. And I don't know what in the world they were thinking when they made this. I don't know if they took tequila and just added some like liquid smoke to it or something, but this is garbage. I feel I just ate cologne. I'm already slurring my words. I just ate cologne or drank it. Good Lord. Shame on you, Diageo. Bah, here's another workhorse. There's another one you'll see in bars a lot. Yeah, Mezcal Union. Union? Union? I don't know. Um, it is like one of those solid kind of workhorses. It has enough smoke to get through a mixed drink to kind of give you, give you some taste. Because a lot of these I would not put in a mixed drink because you'll lose them. Um, these are meant to be had straight. Union you'll see in mixes a lot. Yeah, it's just solid. It's really good. Um, and how much did I have that listed as? 35. That's about the average price. I mean, for, for the lower end, you don't get much beyond... Why am I having more? That's ridiculous, dude. Um, you don't get much beneath 30. And if you do, I would not have it. Because there's some bad stuff out there, as we all know from every different type of alcohol. Another one of my favorites... Mezcal Vago, with these very simple, cool um, labels, is just a solid one. There's a bit more of a metallic taste to it, which I, I personally really love. Um, and there's a whole series of these. I believe there's like 15 different types you can get, and they vary in price. You know, This one and this one are both 55, um, and I think they're well, well worth it because they're so distinct tasting. <coughs> Excuse me. Still good, besides the cough. <clears throat> um, but yeah, you cannot go wrong with Vago if you like a little bit of kind of an odd taste, which I tend to really like. Plus, label stun the label is great. Stunning would have been too strong. Ah, man, that is good. It's just very different. There's like this smoke uh, mixed with the smooth. And that's what you get when you go up in price. Usually you'll find it's a little more complex. You'll have a bunch of different aftertastes and stuff. But again, it's all what you like. Those first two, start with those. This is a really interesting one. Las, los Najueles, which is spirit animal, very apt. Um, this is aged in um, oak casks. So you can see why it's got that like, color. And it is akin to kind of bourbon. There's a, a whiskey that I love called the hell is it called? Abalor. And uh, that is aged in sherry casks. And that gives it kind of like a sweet, um, kind of a mix. So wh what you're getting is kind of a mix of, in my opinion, bourbon or whiskey with um, mezcal. 
And I've definitely had some people that are not Mezcal fans flip over this. This one's about 60 to $70. Cool bottle. I really don't know what to do with these because I can't bear to recycle a lot of these. Can you tell I've been through a couple of these bottles? Damn. Yeah. I think it would be a waste to make something out of it, like a Manhattan or an old fashioned, even though that would work well with it. That's a pretty expensive Manhattan. Derumbas. This is another solid one. It's not the most amazing. It's a cool little label and everything. Um, this one is 40, which I feel is a bit high, especially with this stopper. Good Lord. But I tried this one in a bar. I would recommend going to certain bars and basically just if they've got mezcal, ask for a flight. Um, you can try different ones, but I will say, um, the, like for instance, the Spozal I tried, this one, the, the shot, a shot of it was 30. So I split that with a friend just to be kind of like, to say we did it. Would I buy that again? I doubt it. Oh yeah, this one's so trippy. It's like, God, I want to say like a weird dill taste to it. It's so weird and I love it. You may not, but damn, it's good. It's weird. I like weird. Duh. Uh, the Bozal. Quiche. This one, excuse me. This one is, um, Quiche is, a, is one of the many wild varietals of, um, of uh, uh, what do you call it? What's the plant? Help, oh good God, I'm in trouble. Um, agave. And to be frank, I'm a little worried about the whole future of agave because, uh, wild agave, because it takes like 15 years to mature mm -hmm. or something. That being said, the wild stuff gives it more of a green flavor, depending on how much of the plant they actually add to the mix. And again, these bottles, I don't know if you can, I'll take a picture of it later. This blue is beautiful, it's gorgeous. Presentation does matter, so back off. Oh my, this, this is like port sitting on the porch and uh, drinking. God, my brain is slow. Oh, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> uh, machetazo cupriada. Pardon my accent or lack thereof. This one, um, you all, I've seen this in a couple bars. Um, this is a good base one. It's this weird, it's also from the, uh, where do you call it? Sinaloa. So not a place you can visit. Oaxaca, you can visit. Sinaloa, I probably wouldn't visit. Yeah, it's floral. It's really different. I really like it. And apparently this like, there's something foul hidden this Rorschach test of a label here. Um, there is a green one that I like even better, but it's really hard to find. Salmiana. It's, it's basically like this, but green. The guy at the store described it as... Um, the smell, when you know how it smells when it first rains, that's how it tastes. Perfect description. It is so good and so, it sells out instantly. A lot of these good ones do sell out pretty instantly. Oh God, you ball. I know I'm not pronouncing that well, but I don't care. You ball. Yes, that's my cat. He, this has been aged in pine barrels. And I have tried this twice now. Let's try it again. This is the third time. You made pine saw. You made pine saw. I'm cleaning my toilet with this. Or maybe make a Christmas drink with it. Mezcal Union. Whatever you pronounce. El Viejo, which means it's for old people. Um, this one basically is, the, is, is based on the, the, the Mezcal Union, but aged a little more. So it's got a little more complex, and it's got a little twine wrapped around the top, so you know it's good. Yeah. That's solid. That's solid stuff. Loudest chair ever. Oh, this one's about 40. It's good, it's good, it's solid. As you can see, I experimented a lot. I didn't get a lot right. The Malbien. This is another one, which was an impulse purchase. I went to a tasting for this one. Um, this was a hundred and ten dollars i don't know who they're marketing to or to but it's basically like the most lo-fi uh 
bit ever. It's not technically mezcal because they didn't follow the correct rules and it's not may not be from the exact uh, uh, Oaxacan area that it's supposed to be, or I don't know. I'm, I'm, um, but it's got a really interesting, because they, they put a lot of the plant in there, really interesting kind of green flavor to it, which I, I like a lot. Is it worth 110? No. But after they ply you with this stuff and tell you how great it is, you take it and it, yeah. Story of my life. It is good. It's, it's, it's got a tobacco, green, grassy flavor to it. It's really distinct. It's really, oh man. <laughs> it's really good. Now we uh, call some exes because we've been uh, drinking. Hey, yeah, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, listen, listen, uh, if you get this at a decent hour, give me a call back. So yeah, I don't love you. She was home, who's not home right now? Al Pies Ensemble, which I, again, I'm not, I'm butchering these pronunciations. This, of all things, was a Costco purchase. I saw Costco was selling mezcal and I was like, get me some of that. I've seen this listed for 70. I think I paid 40 and I was upset about that. It's fine. It's fine. It's a good, I, I would recommend uh, trying that with a margarita. Again, if you're not a mezcal fan, mixing it in a margarita in substitution for uh, tequila is a great way to do it because it gives it that smoke. It cuts the sweet a little bit, which I love. I also invested in uh, stuff called Infiniero Tincture. It's habanero and you put that in and the sweet mixed with the hot, mixed with the smoke is just fantastic. That mezcal, pineapple juice and the Infiniero Tincture with some ice, psh, telling you, man. <laughs> This one is about 65. Again, the bottle's gorgeous. It's really hard to go wrong with Bozal. I would highly recommend getting it. You're slurring. Jeez, that's good. That is just such a great mix of smoke and sweet. And man, that's just so comforting, I guess you, you'd call it. Today's show is sponsored by nobody. Nobody. It's who's coming over. My God, that's good. Vago elote. I don't know what it means, but vago is good. Can you imagine if you had to spit this out like wine? What nonsense. Who spits out things you want to eat? <laughs> God, that's weird, slightly metallic, smoky awesomeness. And again, I like weird stuff, alcohol-wise. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Bozal and Madre. This is going to be easier to find. This one you may have to search a little for. Um, but they are so <laughs> solid. Excuse me. They are so <laughs> solid, <laughs> and I absolutely love this design. It looks like a Mexican movie poster and a cave painting combined. Fine tasting, sign up for, like if there's a small uh, tasting place near you, sign up for uh, a mailing list to go to tastings when this is all over. And um, experiment, try different ones. Look for places that serve flights so you can try different ones. But this one is one of the most solid, delicious ones ever. Ooh, and it also comes in a $20 flask size, which is a great gift. God, I sound obnoxious. God, I hope this recorded, right? <laughs> Thank you for joining me in my apartment. And I hope you and yours are doing well in this bonkers time. I love you all. <laughs>